Hello everyone and welcome to Callie's Corner on Unfiltered Gamer. I'm Callie and in this video I want to share some of my favorite websites I go to for board game information, industry news, and about designing board games. There are a lot of websites so we'll get right into it with BoardGameGeek.com. BoardGameGeek is a very popular and well-known website. It houses the go-to ranking of games as well as a listing for almost every board game and publisher out there as well as tons of other content. The website has been around a long time and even though the system may not be super intuitive, I think it is well worth getting familiar with how it works and exploring more. The good thing about it being around so long and so popular, if you need, have a question about how something works or where to go to adjust certain settings, if you ask that question on Google, it is very likely someone else has asked that question and there's also an answer for you to find there. Even if you don't take advantage of all of the features on the site, even just that board game listing for all of the different games is houses a lot of very important and very helpful information about each game. Next up is BoardGameLinks.com. BoardGameLinks is an aggregate news site, which means it collects information from around the web into one central hub. BoardGameLinks also has rankings for different reviewers, websites, and publishers. And those rankings could be based on views on votes or on an aggregate metric of a bunch of different metrics. In addition to the ranking system, Board Game Links pulls blogs and news from a bunch of different websites feeds. So what do I like about this? Well, there are a ton of different board game news and review sites out there, but they're all pretty small and small teams just can't cover everything that's coming out there. All the new games, press releases, reviews. So it's really nice to have a place that kind of pulls all of that together. And I really love this idea of a more robust aggregate news site. And I'm sort of waiting and seeing what board game links evolves into. I think it has a lot of potential to become a go-to news site. Next up, I'd like to talk about Reddit. The most popular board game forum on there is our board games and it's actually a pretty robust community a lot of people have either a love or hate it relationship with reddit what i like about reddit is it is a great place to read and share anecdotal stories about board games from real people and see what people are saying some news will pop up on here some videos but really it's a place to have deeper conversations about particular games, share your unique experiences, or get advice. Just be sure to follow the forum's rules for any posts that you make, particularly watch out for asking for recommendations or promotions. If you're liking this video so far, please show your support and hit that like button. It helps out a lot. In addition, that subscribe button as well as the notification bell. So you'll be sure to see our videos in your feed. It's much appreciated. Thank you. Moving right along. Next up, we have thegamecrafter.com. I talked a lot about the Game Crafter in my video all about board game components, so I won't dive into too much detail here, except to say it's a lot of fun exploring all of the different components that you can actually get different pieces of. If you're interested in game design, definitely check it out first for all of the different components you can use to play test and create prototypes with, and then for printing your own prototypes and even print on demand. In a similar vein, I also want to mention BoardGamesMaker.com. It is another option for creating custom printed pieces and prototypes for games. They have some similar, but also a few different options than the Game Crafter. Definitely check them out if Game Crafter does not have exactly what you need, especially if you need more custom sizing options. They have a lot of those there. Next on my list is Facebook. I know technically it is a social media platform, 
but I just love the Facebook groups feature and the ability to talk to and have conversations about board games with people from all over the world. I think I like Facebook because it feels more personal. It's a little less anonymous than Reddit and I feel like you really get to know people and get to help people out in the different groups and build your own little niche communities. For the most part, the rules of what you can post and talk about are going to vary between the different individual group policies. And there are some groups that are more broad, like our unfiltered gamer board game group, where you can talk about almost anything board game related. And there are ones that are more niche, that are maybe just cater to solo games or family games or um, small games, all types of different games. A few I want to give a shout out right here are the Gateway and Filler Games group, the Board Game Broads group, and the Tabletop Jobs Posting group, where it actually posts different job opportunities in the board game and tabletop industry. Finally, I would be a terrible wife if I didn't mention my hub's husband's website, unfilteredgamer.com. We've got all of our video reviews up there, as well as a ton of written content, written reviews, as well as interviews with board game artists. So this is a great resource for board game designers who are searching for an artist and looking for that right fit. You can look at the interviews and portfolios of a bunch of different board game artists. Also, we have giveaways on the site. Right now I'm running a Callie's Corner giveaway in which I'm giving away a prize pack of games, including the villagers right here win this as well as several other small games on the site all you have to do is share one of the Callie's Corner videos and you could even share this one right now and then go down in the link below in the description and submit your entry and you already have one entry also if you want a bonus entry just go ahead and subscribe while you're still here on this video and you'll be able to submit the bonus entry for that if I missed one of your go-to websites for board game information, please feel free to share it in the comments below and I look forward to seeing it. I hope you liked this video and had some fun exploring the different websites you could bookmark or follow, whether you're new to the community or just getting more involved. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, 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 if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe. It helps out so much. And check out unfilteredgamer.com, of course. <laughs> Gotta shout it out once again. There's tons of great information and giveaways on there, as well as join us for our Facebook live streams every Wednesday night uh, at 6.30 Pacific time. We play all kinds of games on the show, share some board game news first, and just have a great time and give away games it's a lot of fun and I'd love to see you there. This is Callie signing off. Thank you so much. And as always, I look forward to seeing you next time. Yay! We're done! Dante, celebrate! You can do stuff now. I'm done. <laughs> it's like it's nana time, Mom. Not nana. It's not even 8 o'clock, Dante. <laughs>